All right, uh, so I've been biting my tongue on this for a bit. Um, I'm, I'm trying not to listen to rumors. I know it's December, you know, shit goes flying around and, and you know, the rumor mill. Um, you know, I, I know we're still months away from the off season. Um, but this shit shouldn't even be a rumor because it doesn't make any fucking sense. So there's this big thing going around right? This, this, this little bit of a rumor going around that's basically saying that the Giants might just replace Dave Gettleman with Kevin Abrams, who's our current vice president of football operations and our assistant general manager. He's basically the second to fucking, uh, you know, uh, Dave Gettleman. Why in the fuck? I mean, that's, that's my fucking question. Why? This man, and, and mind you, Kevin Abrams has been on this football team for a very long time. See, I don't believe that when a team, this is this is a 53-man, 53-man-plus fucking team, right? So if y'all motherfuckers are losing this damn consistently, it's not just the quarterback. It ain't just the running back. It's not just the football players. It's everyone. It's everyone the fuck involved, Right? So, why are we firing our general manager? Because we all know our general manager ain't shit, right? So, why are we firing our general manager and then making Kevin Abrams our next general manager if he is more than likely also the same fucking... Part of the same reason why we are so damn ass and we have been ass for the last 10 fucking years. Why? I want to know why this football team seems to be afraid to go out of the organization. Pick up somebody who has never been associated with the New York Giants. You know, pick up somebody who, you know, didn't start their career off with the Giants. You know, they, they, they weren't, I don't know, best fucking friends with somebody who used to be on the Giants or brothers with somebody who used to be on the Giants. I want to know why we just can't go out there and get fresh fucking blood. New fucking blood. Nobody who has interned for this football team fucking done anything in the past for this football team. Okay? New ass fucking blood. I cannot believe this team is so... This this ownership is so fucking focused on their comfortability that they're willing to fire Dave Gellman, who is awful, and then replace him with someone who has basically held a, a very a very fucking strong position in that front office for the past what I want to say 10 years I know it's definitely been as long as fucking Dave Gettleman was in the office and, and as long as uh, Jerry Reese was in the office as well why I, I just don't get it I mean if the motherfucker was that impressive you would have hired him instead of hiring Dave Gettleman and you didn't. You hired Dave Gettleman. You hired Dave Gettleman over him, which is all I need to fucking see, to be honest with you. So why are we even considering him? I just don't get it. We're not we should not sit here and act like Dave Gettleman is the only motherfucker at fault here, okay? And just in case there is a very there's a group of people in this organization who's totally not at fault for us looking like ass the last ten years. Kevin Abrams isn't on that damn list, okay? Not with the position he holds. So, um, I, I just, this organization lately has been pissing me off. Like, the Giants, the Giants fucking played the, the Cowboys in about, not, what, 10 minutes? I really don't even want to watch the game. We're going to get our ass beat. You know, we, we don't want to see Mike Glennon. We want to see Jake Fromm, okay? We want to see Daniel Jones stay the fuck healthy. We don't want free fucking sodas. Okay, we want you to go out there and not get your ass creamed against a divisional rival. We want to go out there and have something to compete for this late in the season, you know, for once in our damn lives. That's what the fuck we want, okay? But no, and, and you guys know what you need to do, and you're going to do it. You're going you're gonna to get rid of Dave Gettleman, and then you're basically going to replace him with Dave Gettleman 2.0, Jerry Reese 2.0. And then you sit here and wonder why you guys can't win, but oh, 
but it's perfectly fine to see you guys throw chairs and shit up in that big ass fucking box suite, whatever the hell it is. You can throw chairs all over the place and get mad. You can trade players for speaking out the fucking truth. Okay, you want to force coaches to fuck good coaches to retire. Um, but somehow there's nothing wrong with the hirings you guys are doing, right? I mean. Enough, man. I don't even want to see this fucking Cowboys game. I hope you guys get fucking booed, to be honest with you.